Welcome to this edition of our SMA International News for the month of May. Our story this month takes us to Accra in Ghana. In 2022, amidst a world cautiously emerging from a global crisis, Brazil Catholic School opened its doors, offering a space for good morals and learning to flourish. Back then, we shared their hopeful beginnings. Today, we are curious to see how their story unfolded. Have they thrived? How have they fostered a quality-centred learning environment? And what challenges have they overcome? Once a small seed, now a blossoming plant. That's the story of Breziac Catholic School, located in Accra in Ghana. In 2022, Breziac Catholic School began its journey with a small student body, with limited resources and infrastructures. But over these past two years, the school has undergone a remarkable transformation, serving the people of the local community. As a school, we began with a few students, um, I-54 to be precise, and in two years, uh, the number has increased. We have grown like up to about 300 students. When we started, we didn't have enough classrooms. So um, we had classrooms only up to class four. But now we have built, the, we started the first floor and um, we, we have classes that will take us up to GHS 1. Here we also do, uh, we have uh, inclusive education. So we have some special children that you may find in the, in the classrooms there. Uh, we are providing um, therapy. We are impacting because if somebody comes here and he doesn't really get what he or she wants, he will not encourage someone else to come. So looking at the numbers and looking at how people come with the names of parents who are already here, uh, it gives us the sense that we are doing something good. Um, I must say that um, the school is doing very well. Um, number one, when you look at the level of the students, or the children, the, the intelligence level, and I think that the school is doing very well. People who live around our community can now say that they have um, a place where they can go for quality education. As much as their journey has been marked by significant accomplishments, it is not without challenges. What keeps them going is at the same time their biggest challenge. The challenges I would say is, um, first of all, the payment of um, school fees like finances here. Um, we, we want to raise, we, we want to have a certain standard and that standard is uh, expensive. So when you look at what the structures we have here, um, we, we are supposed to charge maybe a higher fees, but because we are not looking at profit, but we are looking at raising um, being able to help every child in this locality. So the, the fees is a bit low and um, we have staff members who are well trained and with professional training also they have to be paid well. So managing with the, the, the little fees we have and trying to keep that standard is um, a bit of a challenge. We still manage with what we have. We are living within our means, but we wish we could do more. We wish we could do more. A statement that perfectly captures the dedication to provide the best possible education for the children of the community. And at the same time, reminds one that resources are stretched very thin. And now for some general information. From Monday the 22nd to Friday the 26th of April, the members of the SMA Spirituality Commission met in Rome. They were joined by two SMA conferers 
who are experts in spirituality. Together, they drew up a precise action plan and timetable to bring this reflection to fruition before our next assembly. If everything goes according to plan, a book will be published containing a compendium of our spirituality modelled on the way of life of the Apostles and especially St. Paul. On April the 21st, the Superior General convoked the 22nd General Assembly of the Society of African Missions. The letter of convocation can be found in our website. And so this brings us to the end of our SMA International News for the month of April. We hope you will join us again next month when we hope to have more stories and information about SMA Mission.